Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are going to start a brand new CD series 1 where we are going to talk about sets. This is an introductory video. So we are going to find out really what is a set. Now I would like to take a moment of pause and you will be surprised that well we are just beginning and why are we going to pause? The pause is for why do we need to learn about sets? And here are some reasons why you would need to learn about sets. More importantly, some of the questions that you will be able to answer once you know a whole lot more about sets. So what kind of questions can we answer? Let's take a look at some of them. In a class of 40 students, 28 likes to play, 28 like to play hockey and 18 like to play football. Also, each student, they like to play at least one of the two games. So how many students like to play hockey and football? Similarly, another question, in a survey of 500 people, 150 were listed as taking apple juice, 180 were taking orange juice, and 90 were listed as taking both apple and orange juice. Find how many people were taking neither apple juice nor orange juice. So if you think for a moment, so far we have learned so many things, but these kinds of uh, questions we have never seen before. And more importantly, the type of things that we have learned we really have not been able to solve these kinds of questions with things that we have learned, right? We have accomplished quite a bit. But if you think for a moment, what, what do we, how do we apply in the knowledge that we have learned so far to solve these kinds of questions? The reason is they belong to a different type of problems. And, and, and these are problems that we will be able to address once we learn about sets and also sometimes known as the set theory. And let's take a look at some more types of questions. Look at this particular question. There are 200 individuals with skin disorder or some sort of a skin condition. 120 had been exposed to chemical C1, 50 have been exposed to chemical C2, and 30 to both C1 and C2. All right. Find the number of individuals exposed to chemical C1 but not chemical C2. Chemical C2 but not chemical C1. And finally, uh, number of people who have been exposed to chemical C1 or chemical C2. Isn't it quite fascinating that once we understand whatever the set theory is or sets is, that we will be able to answer these kinds of questions? And finally, uh, the last example is 50 people they speak in a committee in a group, 50 people speak French and 20 people speak Spanish and 10 people they speak both Spanish and French. How many people speak at least at least one of these two languages? So now that we understand what kinds of questions we are going to be able to answer once we learn about sets and set theory, let's quickly take a look at what type of things we are going to learn in these series sets. So these are topics we are going to cover. What is a set? Writing a set in roster form and set builder form. Finite sets, infinite sets, and empty set. And an empty set. Also, we are going to take a look at what do we mean by equal sets, subsets, universal sets. Then we will take a look at Wien diagrams. Very, very important Wien diagrams. And then finally, we are going to wrap up by talking about operations on sets, right? Unions of sets, intersection of sets, and differences of sets. Then we will learn about complement of a set. And finally, we will take a look at solving practical problems using sets. And this is the part that we, we looked at some of the questions of how we apply everything that we will learn about sets to solving some real world problems. So friends, I have got lots to do. Let's jump straight in.